everybody. We've got an unboxing today. This is our cotton and steel package filled with gorgeous fabrics. Cotton and Steel is one of my favorite fabric companies. So I'm going to take you through the different fabrics that are in the box, and then I'm going to give you ideas on indigo junction patterns that might be fun to try in these beautiful fabrics that we get from Cotton and Steel. So to start out, here we have a cotton that has a metallic print on it, and this is from Sarah Watts. Um, I believe it's called Moon Phase. Um, maybe from her Santa Fe collection. And the design that, or pattern we're thinking that might be fun is our Mandarin vest, which has a Mandarin collar, hence the name. It also has inset pockets or a patch pocket option with a cute little tie. So that's the Mandarin vest in the moon phase with the metallic. Next up, we have a um, panorama print and this print we thought might be fun to try in the slight sleeve top and tunic um and you can see this has a yoke uh, this pattern has a nice yoke that you could actually maybe even um turn the fabric so the make it direct a different direction going on the yoke might be fun and i do this in the shorter version probably of the slight sleeve top and tunic. It's one of our Indigo Essentials patterns. Next up, we have this fun, soft pink print and really gorgeous color. It has, um, it's called Cotton Candy, I think is the color, and the, it's coin dots, and it's again in the Pandora line. It's actually unbleached cotton too. Just really a gorgeous piece. And here we have our Slumber Party PJs pattern. And that pattern is ideal for cottons or knits or even a gauze. But here we are gonna try it in a cotton and you could do either the shorts or the uh, cropped pant PJ. Slumber Party PJs. Next up, we have the this gorgeous Santa Fe, I believe it's, yes, yeah, Santa Fe pottery, and it's a rayon. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the drape on this so you can just see how gorgeous and fluid this fabric is, not to mention the color in it is so awesome. And we have a pattern called Caitlin's Dress tunic and top and I think this actually could be gorgeous in either the tunic or the top length in this pattern um you get some really nice drape and just a this is a super comfortable comfortable easy to wear shirt uh, next up we have another one of my favorite um fabric lines from Cotton and Steel. Cotton and Steel have a variety of designers that design for their line, and they also license different companies. And one of the companies they license is Rifle um, Paper Company. You may have seen their um, printed stationary calendars, notebooks, really beautiful graphics, many of them florals, um, just charming prints. And this is a really fun um, top that we are going to do in Rifle, and I think we are looking to try the Raglan top in this print. And again, it should have a beautiful drape around the yoke. Because it's a Raglan sleeve, it's super comfortable to wear and easy to make, no inset sleeves for this Raglan top. Okay, next up, even though it's winter, I'm thinking ahead to uh, summer and getting ready for a few months away. Before we know it, it'll be spring, right? Um, this is a really fun cotton print, and it is called um, Santa Fe Pottery, I believe. And the pattern we were going to try in this was the, our shift dress pattern. And I gotta find that pattern. Where did we hide it over here? There it is. 
Um, so this is the shift dress. Um, you can see a pocket. There's a unique little pocket detail on this um, pattern as well as a sleeve that has a little turned up um, edge and a nice v-neck. I, I know I always like a v-neck for a flattering neckline. I'm gonna spread open this fabric just so you can see really how much fun this line would be as this, this dress. The colors in this print I think are really wearable and um, interesting, a really unique combination there. So again, I'll show you the fun, the other thing that's fun about cotton and steel, they have the best salvage um, prints, printing. They sometimes just you give you a, you know, sweet message or inspiring message. And this one says something magical is on the horizon. These fabrics are made in Japan, cotton and steel, is a division of RJR and this is a Sarah Watts design. So you've got all the information you need, you need on this line. One more to try on this side of the box. And the one we have here is again, a panorama print. Actually, you might recognize it. I think it was the cotton candy print we looked at before, but now we have it, it looks completely different where you have the um, navy indigo combination here. I thought this was just an awesome wearable cotton. And um, the pattern that we were thinking about for this is called our swing jacket. And the swing jacket has um, two options for pockets, inset or a patch pocket that's kind of on a diagonal. And then um, it also has a center inset panel that gives it the swing that we talk about. So the swing jacket I think would be really gorgeous in this panorama line. All right. We're gonna move on to the next um, stack of cotton and steel. I think I'll take a break now we're back in again with part two of the unboxing of the cotton and steel line. We're gonna start out with one of my favorite fabrics, and this is gingham. It's a half inch, it's called their checkers line, one of their basics at cotton and steel, and it is a yarn dyed woven gingham. Not a printed, but an actual woven and yarn dyed. So this will give you the best results um, when you're sewing versus maybe a printed gingham. And I love this color, the fuchsia. I'll also show you some indigo junction patterns that you might like to try with some of Cotton and Steel's fabrics. So with this gingham, I go for the Everyday Tank. And that pattern has two different lengths. Um, it also has a really nice um, coverage on the shoulder so you're going to find that it's very flattering um, if you want to cover parts of your arm. Um, it also is has a unique, um, it doesn't have darts but it has um, uh, tucks at the neckline that um, give you some nice flattering shape to this garment. So this is the everyday tank. And another, I was so excited to get two different Ginghams. Here we have um, chartreuse, which is really my favorite color. Um, and you can see again how much fun this print is. Or excuse me, not a print, it's a woven. And with this particular fabric, we were thinking about the easy top and tunic. And again, this would be something that maybe you um, cut the and sewed and design the layout maybe on the bias for something a little more fun and different. So your your actual fabric would be on the diagonal versus the straight of the grain. Um, and here you can see we have three lengths in this pattern. I would probably go for the shorter length um, just because green, that might be a lot of green if you went for the full tunic length, but 
everybody has their own unique style, so that's what this is about. Next up, I'm going to show you a fabric that is called Poolside, speaking of summer and thinking ahead to sewing for spring. And this is a um, beautiful rayon. And once again, I'll, I'll demonstrate the drape of this rayon with you, and you can just see how gorgeous this piece is. And I love the tone on tone in the background um, with the accent of the contrast. What would we make with this one? I'm thinking the gathered back, um, and I'd go for either the top or the tunic length. There are two lengths in this pattern. Again, this pattern can be made in a cotton, but it's beautiful when you make it up in a rayon and it has a drape to it with that um, gathered area in the back of the pattern, which makes it quite flattering. All right, next up, we have a line that's called, um, it's one of the basics, and this is Let the Sun Shine In. Um, you can see just a small detail print on a, on a background, a little abstract. And this pattern, this fabric we thought maybe would be nice, oops, there's my little cheat sheet, um, in the button back shirt. And this, the nice thing about this garment is you can wear it make it in cotton, make it in flannel, make it in um, even a voile or um, shot cotton for summer. But again, wear something underneath if you wanna wear it in the winter with sleeves. And the button accent on the back is a faux accent, just to keep that in mind. So don't worry, no buttonholes required. All right, next we have another rifle pack paper print. Remember I talked about the rifle paper in the previous um, video or unboxing, and this is another one of their gorgeous prints. This, with a little kind of feminine feel to it, I was thinking about Caitlin's dress. Um, maybe I'd stick, though, with the top length when I just have a cotton, um, and a cotton with as much pattern as you see in this um, Caitlin's dress or in this um, rifle pattern print. So next up we have Daisy Vines and this is another more feminine print. And it, I was thinking we do have a pattern that has ruffles and that is our turnabout tank that has a ruffles around the neckline. And it you could also make it with the lace up version. So if you're not a person that loves ruffles, we made it with really two stylings. And um, you can see that you can actually wear the V-neck in the front or the back of the pattern, which is kind of a, a fun option. So the turnabout tank. Well, there you have it. A lot of inspiring fabrics to work with from Cotton and Steel. We want to thank them for sending us these fabrics. We're going to make up the garments, many of the garments that I've talked about today. So stay tuned, follow us on our Facebook and Instagram feeds, and be sure to sign up for our newsletter. Thanks so much for watching.